It's pretty quiet across the area now, though a little snow is ahead. We take you back through the course of the day today through our weather bug camera, the Soda Spade Lighthouse and Museum. You see several things, not all weather related in this loop. For example, you see the uh, Nine Mile Plant in Oswego in the distance. You see the lake ice coming right out of the bay, and that's kind of cool, flowing right out of uh, the pier. And we're looking at not much otherwise uh, in terms of lake ice and no falling snow of consequence. This area got pummeled yesterday. You see the snow capped chimney bluffs in the distance. Another cold day to be sure, colder than normal again. Your top temperatures were mostly 20s. At 4 o'clock, it was 26 in Newark and 25 in Avon. Now, there's going to be a little snow tonight. Not a big deal. Call is cloudy. A touch of snow looks like adjusting to an inch. Late tonight, early tomorrow, though, there could be a brief squall at the overnight low temperature, 22. Now, a more significant snow and wind event is setting up for late week. More on that coming up in our next report. The News to NBC 24-hour weather channel continues. Hi, I'm Kevin Williams in the News 10 NBC Weather Center. As we check our throughway snow derby, a couple of things may jump right out at you. First of all, Syracuse way out ahead with nearly 62 inches for the season. And note, exactly tied. You don't see this very often. Rochester and Buffalo with precisely the same amounts. So we're going to add to these totals, though, maybe substantially later this week. Albany, as is usually the case, is trailing, in this case, with about 20 inches. Just a touch of snow due tonight. Some clearing is due with some sun returning tomorrow. But we see the risk of some hefty snow and wind area-wide later Thursday night and Friday. We mentioned this yesterday. But that should set us up for a nice winter weekend, if all goes according to plan. Short term, though, again, things are pretty quiet. One more time, I want to run this loop through. For you, watch uh, Lake Ontario. That's where the snow plume had been. And there it is, uh, finally drifting north and away. You can see some lighter snows beginning to emerge, but again, they won't amount to much. Here's your future cast. Yeah, enough to dust the ground. That should be about it. Patches of light snow overnight. Now, late tonight, early more cold front goes on by with a quick burst of snow possibility. There it comes uh, tomorrow morning. So don't be surprised if it snows hard for a short while, late tonight, early tomorrow. After that, still some flurries around mainly east, but the clouds should break for some sunshine. So tonight, yes, it's a bit of snow, but the amounts will be small. Very late tonight or early tomorrow could be a quick squall. But the breeze light most of the night, picking up late, our low temperature at 22. Tomorrow, brisk and cold, 27 degrees, clouds, flurries early. Flurries will tend to fade. Some sunshine will break through the clouds. Here's your seven-day Thursday, mostly cloudy with a flurry of 31. And again, the potential for an area-wide significant snow and wind event later Thursday night into Friday, 30. That sets us up, though, for it looks like, uh, as I mentioned, a pretty nice winter weekend. Thanks for joining us. Hope you have a terrific night. Your news at NBC 24-hour weather channel continues.